Hi, in this video I'm just going to show you some of the very basic functions that you're asking for. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do it nice and slow so it's uh, easy to understand and uh, you get what you're looking for from the video. So, um, first of all I'm just going to show you the media browser. The media browser uh, shows you all the media on your hard drive so that you can uh, find it and edit it and mix it together. So here I have a folder called Sanio Vids which is uh, videos taken from my Sanio camcorder. Um, what I want to do is just find the file that I want to edit first of all and preview it so to make sure that it's the video that I'm looking for so I just click on it once and I can see the file is now previewing in the video output screen. So I want to edit this clip so I just double click on it and it is brought automatically into the track cutter and it's placed in its own tab so I can see the name of it there. Now what I want to do is bring in about five different video clips just to show you how you can edit multiple clips at the same time. So here's another clip and I want to edit that so again I can double click on it. I want to edit this clip as well and what I can do is I can double click on it or I can just drag it into a new tab. And you can see there that I can tab between the files like so. So I have three files open here. I'm just going to bring in one more clip. Again, just double click on it. So now that I have my four files here, I'm going to go to the first clip and show you how to uh, copy an area out of it and place it into the mixing screen ready to mix. So I can just expand this window to make it bigger or smaller, make space for myself. I can make the video output screens bigger or smaller by just placing my cursor over the window to, and then just dragging like so. Now this is the play bar, so if I click play, you'll see that the play bar is scrolling through the file, playing it. So I'll just press stop. And I can actually grab this play bar by placing my cursor over the play bar. And you'll see that these two uh, arrow icons appear. And when I hold down the left button of my mouse, I can just scroll through it quickly. And this is very handy for editing, so I can go to areas uh, quickly within the file to edit. So I want to start editing here. Now the scroll wheel on your mouse enables you to zoom into that area. So you can see there, zooming completely out or zooming completely in. So the zoom, the the scroll wheel on the mouse is um, very very handy to you know to get a precise edit. So once I'm happy that I want to start uh, copying the footage out from that area I hold the shift key on my keyboard and the left button on my mouse and you see a selection box appears it's this greyed out box that's placed in the track cutter now I can make it bigger I can make it smaller by just grabbing it with my left button on my mouse again just by holding the left button on my mouse I can make it bigger or smaller but I can also use the play bar to find exactly where I am and this window is previewing the file so I can scroll in to get a precise edit so I want to start a bit there I'm just looking at the window to make sure this is the area that I want and then I just right click and select snap start to play cursor and then go to the area where I want it to end so I want it to end around here and again I can just select snap end to play cursor so this area here within the selection box is the area that I want to copy and paste now you can see that the, both the audio and video channel are covered in the selection box if I only just wanted to take the video out and not the audio I can just hold the left button my mouse and just drag it just to cover the video so I'm happy. I'm I'm, I'm just going to copy the the video segment in for the moment because I'm going to add a soundtrack to this. So once I'm happy with that, I right click on it and select copy, and then go to the area that I want it to paste it in the mixing screen. At this particular area is the beginning because it's the first clip I'm copying in, and I select paste. So now you can see that this edited piece of footage is now in the mixing screen now I can move this anywhere I want I can actually make it smaller if I want make it longer if I want but 
I just want to draw your attention to this area here at the very end. You see these two indents? Th these two indents at the end of the clip indicate that the video is now at its end. And then if I continue to expand it, it's going to loop. So you want to look out for this little icon that appears. You see this red uh, loop icon? This icon is telling me that I'm actually at the end of this clip. And if I continue on expanding it, I'm going to be repeating it. So you just want to stick it at the end there. Now I want to make sure that it's at the beginning. So again, just make sure it's snapped there. So I've actually edited that little piece of footage out of that long piece. So I'm going to go to my second piece. And again, I can go double click anywhere with my mouse just to place the cursor there if I want or else I can grab it and I'm getting a preview here in the preview window of exactly where I am within the file and again scrolling using the scroll wheel I can make view the file longer or smaller so I'm gonna, just gonna start it here at the beach so I'm happy with that and then just click create the selection box and again I can actually just use grab that to go there or else I can just right click and say snap start to play cursor and again go to the end to where I want it to end snap end to play cursor copy it out and paste it into the mixing screen so this is my second piece of footage that I've just edited out of the track cutter and again I can just grab it and move it anywhere but I want to just place it right beside the first piece of uh, footage that I edited out uh, of the clip. So now I'm mixing two different pieces of footage. So here's the first piece and here's the second piece. Now because the clips are 1280 by 720 I want to just make sure in the target frame size that I've selected 1280 by 720. So you can see that. So you can just go down and pick whatever the original file is in so that it keeps its aspect ratio. Um, a lot of video cameras these days shoot in 1280 by 720 or uh, 1920 by 1080. So you can just pick your aspect ratio here so that the video output screen is showing the cor correct aspect ratio. So I shot this at 1280 by 720 so I'm selecting the YouTube HD which is 1280 by 720. So now that I've edited two clips in, I'm just going to edit another one in. So I want to just get a bit of fo footage um, with a bit of action in it because what I'm going to do is show you how to speed up a clip or slow down a clip and uh, how to reverse a clip. So I have a clip here of a, a sack race. <laughs> so I just double click on it to edit it. And again, I'm just going to find the area that I wanted to start at. So I'll just make this a bit bigger. So I want to start about here. Make my selection box. Like so. And maybe end it a little bit towards the end. Like so. And just click select snap end to play cursor. So this is the area that's going to be copied out of the file and placed into the mixing screen for mixing. And I can always click play here to see how it plays. And again, if I wanted to include the audio, I could just drag it in. So I'm happy with that. I'll copy, paste it, and now that clip is in as well. Now I can always cross fade these. So I can just place it in and now you can see these two pieces of video will actually be faded in together or else I could just again snap it right beside it so the cross fading is just to drag it in and I can actually change that fade type to make it smoother 